And we're taking a look at the Laser Max internal guide rod laser. Basically, this is a laser that replaces the guide rod in a pistol, in this case, the Glock 22. Laser Max has been making lasers for quite a while now. They're real good stuff. I really like them. Um, they're great for, uh, for example, the smaller Glocks, um, where you can't, don't have a light rail, or some of the other pistols um, that don't have a light rail. Um, and if, for anyone who doesn't want the bulk, for example, this Glock laser is pretty bulky. You know, it works and everything great, but uh, you may not want to have that much stuff on your gun. So what this does is it remove, it replaces that internal guide rod. When you open up the box, you get the, uh, this case, you get a free pistol case with it, but you get your instructions and a fairly decent uh, setup here. You've got the spring you're going to need, the new lever, and the new, uh, or that's a tool. You get your actual laser. Pack that back up. It just takes a couple of moments to install. Now, if you're not a Glock armorer, you may not feel comfortable with these steps, and you can take it to most gun shops. Um, a Glock armorer could do this definitely for you. Uh, the Glock armorer just means someone who's been trained by Glock to repair these things. But uh, anyone who's familiar enough with the Glock to you know, should be able to set this up for you in no time. The instructions give you all the steps, but like I say, if you're not comfortable with taking the gun apart, uh, have someone who is comfortable do it for you. It won't cost very much at all. So of course the first step is to make sure that we're unloaded. And we are with Glock disassembly. Take tension off the uh, disc, the takedown. Pull that trigger, let the slide come out. We're actually going to be doing one modification to the lower and one quick modification to the slide. Let's do this one first since this one's a little more tedious. We're going to remove the takedown lever there. And the best way to do it is just push down on that spring. It'll fall out. You can tell the difference between the two because the new one is a bit longer. And the new one has these red marks on the side to indicate when the thing is on. And the original has a notch here where the new one has sort of a raised set of uh, notches to create a little valley there and you'll see in a minute how that works with the pistol. Next we need to take out that spring. We did a video a while back when this spring broke on a Glock and the way that uh, I like to get it out, I've done this a couple of times, I just take the new spring that they're going to give us and this usually just pries kind of right out there and I'll take the old one out. Now the old one and the new one are basically the same sizes uh, so in case you do get them mixed up the way to tell them apart is the new one I can hold them up to the camera good here. The new one is on the right and it has some notches there uh, that line up with uh, this thing to basically be the, uh, the on switches. And again you'll see how that works in just a second here. Um, so now this new spring replaces the old and we just drop that down into place. Again if you're not familiar with doing this it may not be quite as fast. I've done this, I don't know, a bunch of times already. So changing that part is fairly um, familiar to me. But again, this would just be maybe a little more clumsy for you if you hadn't done this a bunch of times already. And now I'm just going to relieve pressure on that spring, bring in the new takedown. And I don't know if you can tell, but the... Let me bring another Glock out here. Okay, so I'm going to take this one down. And you see on the stock Glock that these takedown pin levers right here and right here are basically flush with the gun. If I bring up this new one, you see that they now it's sticking out to the right. And you hear those clicks? Two clicks and now it's sticking out to the right. Now I've got it in the center there but it's still sticking out more than it would be on the regular Glock. Where are they? They're lined up next to each other now. So there's the standard Glock on the right and the raised switch here on the left. And what that is is the switch for the laser. So i um, not sure the quality here, but I've pushed it. It came out to the right side and that triggered the laser. 
now I've clicked it to the off position and then on position and now it's in the off position so it, in other words it goes on in either right or left position or if you center it it's off and you'll see that again in just a moment so now we'll go to the slide and we're just going to take off the regular recoil spring and we're going to add the laser which is a laser on this end and a switch on this end now one step we did do without being on the video is we took it apart and put the, la the batteries into the laser um, but um, no that was boring so we just didn't take them out again so now I've got the laser pointing at the camera there uh, it's a pulsing right now because it's basically on what's going to happen is it's going to come in and hit that takedown and become the, that's going to become the off switch I guess so I'm going to make sure that it's parallel everything's good to go and again it's a little unconcerting because it's pulsing while you're putting it together here get it back on its rails and now it immediately went off so um, it's in it's installed it's ready to go we already sort of tested it to know that the batteries are working so as I was doing before I'm gonna push on the right side and now it's on so um, and you saw the lever come out here and you saw the laser show up so now I'm going to push one click to the center position and it's off and then I can put it on again push all the way to the right side and it's on again so pretty handy if you got a shooting grip on it you can use your trigger finger now you can't turn it off with just a shooting grip but most people have a two-handed grip and this way you can use your thumb and your trigger finger to uh, have it alternate between on and off now I don't want to claim it's the ideal laser you'll notice there's no adjustments it's factory installed so it should be dead on because it's affixed to your frame and to your uh, basically the you know the the, the lot inner workings of the barrel it should be always true assuming that it's shooting straight through but you don't get any adjustments on it so it's not perfect uh, you don't get those adjustments on it but you also don't have anything external on the gun the, the, the largest thing you have on the external is the gun is these small little nubs here which may make an issue on some some holsters but most companies will leave a channel on their holster to allow for the laser max uh, lasers now this one happens to be installed on a Glock 22 I believe they make them for all the different Glock models you can get them for other pistols as well uh, for the most part they need to have something similar as far as the takedown um, but they're available for lots of the common pistols that are out there so that's the laser max uh, internal laser sight